Hello everybody! <laughs> My first one without a hat. I actually need the hat to be honest. So um, I had a really interesting conversation yesterday with a long-term Enjoy client and she was talking about the fact that her now five-year-old child is struggling to be at school. They're, 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 they're struggling with their emotions and they're struggling when they get home and it's one of those things that she's wanting to support her and how can she do it? And I wanted to talk a little bit about this because anyone who's had their baby through Enjoy has come to pregnancy yoga classes or, you know, done anything to increase their sensitivity and their, um, yeah, consciousness while they've been pregnant is going to more than likely have a child who's more sensitive than the average child. And we really need to protect this sensitivity. So without getting even remotely woo-woo, there's just a few things that we need to think about. And that is firstly diet. What are your children being fed on? Because 80% of the immune system is in the gut. Many, many children and babies have had antibiotics as a first experience. So their good bacteria was stripped through their gut um, and killed off um, through routine IV antibiotics or mum having to have antibiotics at some point. And very rarely do we take probiotics. Um, sorry, call coming through there. Yeah, very rarely do we take probiotics. And yet probiotics are so important for actually building up the gut because if you're feeding sugar, yeast to... There we go. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're feeding yeast and sugar to immune system that, sorry, to a gut that hasn't got good bacteria in it, then it's going to be increasing the bad bacteria and this affects the brain. There's something called gut psychology syndrome, which you can look up and it can lead to pre-autistic tendencies. It can lead to um, autistic spectrum behavior. It's something to take really seriously. Most of us live off processed foods, let's admit it. So children's food, how healthy is that? A lot of it isn't. So it's really important to get off refined sugars, get off refined carbs, stop eating processed meat, get live yogurts in these kids rather than all those horrible little things that are pasteurized and irradiated and full of sugar and actually aren't doing them any good. Real fruit and bio live yogurt. It's really simple. Um, some honey, it works. Um, look it up. Okay. So look up, um, gut psychology syndrome. It's really important. And also I want to big up my friend Carla Collins, who's a, cl a client of mine. And if you're on Instagram, you can check out her Instagram posts. I made today. She's constantly making the most delicious treats for her toddler, like gorgeous and for her whole family. And they're ba paleo diet based. There's no, um, normal sugar in them. There's no normal carbohydrates, wheat, all that kind of thing. They're really, really good for you. So I hope that will inspire you on that level. Um, on a second level, it's, it's a question of looking at EMFs and looking at the fact that in this day and age, we are exposed to so many electromagnetic frequencies that are man-made frequencies, not naturally occurring frequencies. EMFs are naturally occurring as well, but there's radio waves, there's microwaves bopping around the environment and, you know, Wi-Fi everywhere. Now, in one generation, I don't know about you, I'm 38 now, I went to uni and that's when I had my first mobile phone. But in, in 20 years, you know, I can't even count, but around then, um, you have got a situation where, you know, we're suddenly exposed to so many more. And I get it, another pause. <laughs> um, you got so, you know, so many more EMFs than we otherwise would have. And this is a really big issue. So what I have here are two things that you could work with. One is Rayguard, and I'm a big fan of these products because there's a lot of research that's been done into them and into our blood composition. Just having your child wear one of these when they're at school, discuss it with their teachers. Um, it's really, really helpful. I mean, they're, they're 100 quid. And if you want one of these or you want any of the Rayguard products, I will put a link up for you. Let me know because again I have an English stockist who actually charges less than if you buy them online from from the main website so worth getting in touch with me the alternative would be organite something with organite in it there's quite a few little devices with organite in and they're pendants and there are things you can put on the back of your mobile phone anything that your children are exposed to there needs to be at least an hour of no screens before bed and it's a really good idea to turn off wi-fi as well it's going to help them to sleep better and therefore they can process information better when they are at school now these are the obvious things okay beyond this I've made a list here you have the emotional needs of the children okay so you know they've gone from being around you potentially all the time or uh, if they and, th and that is where I see it the most is when they've been around you for their early lives and suddenly they're now introduced to preschool and school and it's just too much because you've been really diligent at meeting their emotional needs and they're finding that they're now in a group of 30 children and they're just one of 30 kids not the only one or one of two or three or four in your care 
This is massive. I, I'm actually going to be doing an interview with a teacher who was a primary school teacher of my daughter's when, when she was really little and has gone on to have two children. Now, she didn't go back to teaching for long after she had her first child. She might not have even gone back at all because she, she realised that actually it's really really difficult for the teacher to meet the emotional needs of 30 children every day. Um, so what do we do? Well, one, we all need to change the system by asking for something different, and that means more teachers in a classroom. Yes, we need that, and we need to take the load off the teachers. But another thing is you meeting the emotional needs of your own children as much as you can, and actually teaching them energy practice, them, teaching them yoga, teaching them uh, breathing practices, visualisation practices that are going to help them to feel safe, to go into school, protecting their energy field and then coming back and being able to talk to you about stuff that's going on so you can help them to cope with the world that they are in we can't prevent the world that we're in we're in it so it's learning how to cope with it and this leads me to say a big announcement which is enjoy yoga is actually going to resume uh Kids yoga classes, so children's yoga classes for four to nine year olds and ten to thirteen year olds. It might be slightly different to that. Three I can't quite remember the the ages, but um often it is sort of suggested that things like Kung Fu or martial arts can be a really good channel for children's energy as a way of kind of dealing with the frustrations that get pent up from being good at school all day. And I totally agree with that. Uh, I think Kung Fu is actually really helpful because it teaches you to manage challenging emotions in a disciplined and honourable way. But um, yoga for children is also really fantastic. If you think about how much you've benefited from yoga and what it's taught you, giving these children an opportunity to learn how to switch off, to relax, to tune into their emotions to stretch their bodies what a wonderful thing to do so we're going to be working with Anita we're going to be working with the Enjoy team and getting some new classes together so if you have a child in the local area so Purley, Coulsdon, uh, South Croydon, Croydon and you would be interested in children's yoga classes for them could you please let us know what day of the week would suit you and what time so that we can get this going as soon as possible because it's time to start nurturing that side of the community final note is I've got an essential oil here which is called Ravensara and it's an, a beautiful I mean essential oils if you haven't got into them children really respond well to Roman chamomile they respond really well to chamomile they respond really well to Ravensara which is like the the holistic alternative to something like Olbus oil or Vicks which are actually really quite harsh and petroleum based so Ravensara is one I would really really recommend here um, and um, I, I put it under Scarlett's nose the other day and I said oh, what does that remind you of and she was like hmm, home because she she smelt this a lot as a kid so if you have a kid that has quite a lot of chesty stuff going on or they've got snotty nose a lot this burning this putting a couple of drops in their pillow will help them to go to sleep at night burning it in the environment will help them to um kill off the germs that are around so i'm just looking at my list to check that anything else oh yeah two more things so sorry not the final thing at all as you have so much less time with your child if you're working there at school it's really important that when you are engaging with them you take 10 to 20 minutes every day to fully engage with them looking at them eye contact not like in an intense like I've got to make the most of this kind of way but just being present with your heart with your mind with your body with your breath so that they can feel that reconnection with you because they've gone from being connected to you all the time to now being connected to you very little of the time and it's scary for them it shifts their energy field there's a lot more going on to us than our physical bodies okay so just taking those 10 to 20 minutes to just engage with your child no phones no tv no distractions with other people just you and your child and, and the ideal thing is if you can walk home from school or you can take them for a walk in the woods after school on the days that you can that will really help them to ground otherwise doing a little bit of fun yoga at home when you get home just as a little transition and you know we don't need to be stuffing our kids full of sweets and sugar and rubbish get rid of the e numbers and the colors yes it's convenient it's everywhere but it's not good for them sugar and illness are very strongly linked so please take heed of that and check out um that instagram um uh what do you call it hang <laughs> i don't know what they're called anymore but i made today really brilliant there's loads of really lovely stuff out there that you can make that does not actually um fill them full of crap that they don't need uh, last thing is the wave of indigos, um, crystal star children that are coming through. 
I'm a big believer that all the kids that come through Enjoy are in one way or another on the spectrum of being, you know, the light workers that are coming to bring peace to this planet. And so they are going to be more sensitive and we need to meet their needs. We can't shut them down. It's a different generation, okay? Consistency, consistent boundaries, but also being sensitive to their needs and the fact that they're not going to play ball is really, really important. They're not going to play ball. They need you to tune into them and what they actually need. So I'm going to put another link for you, which is about star children, and see whether you recognise the qualities of your child, either in the description of indigo, crystal, rainbow, or star, because that will help you again to look at how you can support them most. These are amazing kids. They deserve us to, to really open our hearts to what they need. And also, let's not be scared of asking for more from our system because, quite honestly, the system is out of whack. And it's time things changed. And the way things change is by the client, the consumer, the customer. That's us, by the way, because we pay our taxes, demanding something different. That's how the face of birth has changed. And that's how our education system is going to change. It's going to change through you asking for something different and demanding something different. So I get angry about it because it's important. All right. So channel that anger, make it passion and let's change the world together. Lots of love. There'll be more posts on this. This is just really off the cuff. I wanted to share it with you. So yeah, if you want kids yoga, say yes, let us know. Love you. Bye. Oh, I've got to turn this off. How do I turn it off? <laughs> I think it's been